peace and tranquility of rural Wales offers a chance to get away from it all. To live the good life, far from the stresses of the modern world. For most, it remains a pipe dream, but this young city couple are determined to make it a reality. I'm gonna do something different with the rest of my life, right? Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. They want to set up a small holding in Wales. Got my first chicken. Yeah. And live off grid. Whoa. Mm. Grow their own food. Iceberg lettuce, Jill. Ooh, easy tiger. And keep their own animals. I never thought it'd feel like that. Whoa. <laughs> but with hardly any money. We are brass pocket, like nada and even less know-how. Why is it so hard? Will their green dreams survive? It can be done. Rural, real life? I'm selling. So we'll figure it out. And that's where I'm at right now is I'm figuring it out. Just outside Cardiff in Barry, Wales, Ab's love and Vicky Fallon's lives couldn't be further away from the rough and ready life of a farmer. They and their five dogs inhabit a world of sleek white granite and all mod cons. Stop it. That's it, nice and civilised. Like we spoke about. No, no, come on. Ab's and his fiance, Vicky, are musicians. What is that? Who gave you a biscuit? Writing and recording songs together is the world they know. Abs produced all of the music and I wrote and sang the song. Tell me the same, bring this bit. Vicky is that beacon. It sounds really cheesy, but I always say it, but she's that in the darkness, man. She was my light that came along. She's like my um, Sharon Osbourne. Do you know what I'm saying? If ever we was going to release a duet, this is kind of that. Sonny and Cher. I mean, it's kind of that. It's along them lines. It's quite fresh. It's quite I think modern. The world's ready for another sunny and share. And Vicky blessed it with <laughs> only a few without of the vocals. violence. <laughs> for Abs and Vicky, the rock and roll of city life <laughs> has lost its luster. Just want to get going. I'm just getting impatient now. Abs wants to give it all up and start a whole new life. You know what I mean? Just I'm tired of all the plastic and all the shopping. That's what I mean by off-grid and getting away from everything. I want to go against all of that and just exist. Ah, oh, man, I love the wilderness. I love the outback. I love just the, the... You've just got space. You've just got space, man. Like, that compared to being on a train in the middle of London. Don't give it all guru. Abs's right? dream is to buy a small holding in the country. Vicky agrees, but wants to keep their feet on the ground. You need to learn to listen, because country life is real, it's hard and, you know, it's rough. People can get hurt, you know. No, see, no, you're putting no, out that juju. We don't need that juju. I don't think like that, there so it don't more, happen. There is more accidents in the country. You've got machinery, you've got animals. Listen. Dirty, muddy, like slippy, rocky, a hoover. Danger. I've had danger. issues with a hoover in the house. They've been very dangerous. Like, <laughs> how is that ever been dangerous to you? The hose pipe around your leg, you trip on it, it doesn't come around the corner when you pull it. But what I'm trying to make the point is I'm not dangerous, it just kind of fangs me. Abs and Vicky have agreed that dangerous or not, they'd like to start their new simpler life in rural Wales. This is Landilo, babe. Uh -huh. we, it's like Notting Hill, it's got the coloured houses, yeah. Is it Welsh Notting Hill? Alchlisiach <laughs> Hill. Although Abs and Vicky like the idea of being self-sufficient, they're not sure what that's going to look like. So, they're heading to North Pembrokeshire to meet a pioneering community living off-grid, who may be able to fill in the picture. They're visiting an eco-village of nine small holdings called the Lamas Project. Lamas in the building. Lamas. Here we are. Lamas was established in 2009 after new laws allowed green development in the Welsh countryside.
Here, everybody lives off-grid. They grow their own food, generate their own power, and even build their own distinctive eco-friendly homes. If Abs and Vicky want a green dream on a budget, then Lamas might offer some answers. Look at this, look at this. I think that's Simon in the brown. Okay. Simon Dale is one of the UK's best-known eco-builders. How are you doing? I'm Vicky. Nice Hi, Vicky. to meet you. He built his first Hobbit house in 2003 for £3,000. Giving us the time, man. This is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Since then, he has transformed his hillside of seven acres into a prototype for green living. His planting scheme is a model for what Vicky and Abs could achieve. So we'll have a little walk around, Feel see what we're it. doing now over yeah. here, see what we've done. That'd be great, man, and, and magic happens, man, and come in places like this, I know I'll leave so inspired. What sort of stuff are you growing there? That's a perennial cabbage. Yes. It just keeps on growing, keeps on growing, so you don't have to replant it every Perfect. year. Perfect. Yeah. Did you say it was a predatorial cabbage? <laughs> no. Perennial. I was thinking, boy, <laughs> yeah. stay away from the cabbages at that mass. Oh, OK. These are facelia, which are green manures. You can eat it. Exactly. You have to eat, not That's eat loads key. and loads, because there's some <laughs> stuff in it which is... A bit bad for you, Fugly. Really. OK. Right. Good for you but or bad for you? Good for you. Good for you or bad, <laughs> good, bad for you or bad okay. good for you. What are we saying? Are we saying, like, good, bad, like, it's good, but it's bad, but you can't say that it's good because it's bad? <laughs> or are we saying, like, good, good, where it's, like, the good shit? Or are we saying, like, <laughs> both, all right, yeah, sweet. He's a poor man. My bad. <laughs> Yeah. I'm impressed with this grass mound, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that's all that. What is that? That's so healthy. That's just, a pile of turf, that's just that? turf and it's all grown yeah, on. I want one of them. <laughs> wait, wait, look at these, yeah. darling. Yeah. Like, what? Is that rhubarb? Oh, they're amazing. Rainbow chard. Chard, yeah. Rainbow chard. Whoa. It's got beautiful stems. Whoa. And it's one of the most. So sick, man. I love it. It's so cool. <laughs> it's wicked, oh, isn't it? Everything yeah. just feels happy here. Birds are like just around. constantly singing a nice like theme. Yeah. They're like orchestrated just for this moment, it feels like. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's stunning, man. <laughs> a little bit jealous, a little bit jealous. <laughs> man. You bring up that envious part of my own art. This here is too. really cool. It's so cool, man. So cool. It's a real sense of community here, man. It's positive. It is harmonious. It's like when you get your fish tank set up just right and you've got the pH levels just right and you've got the blue lights and everything's happy. All the fish are happy with each other, the ripples, everything's nice. I mean, that's not a good example because my not fish like died. Your tank. Yeah. No. Like many residents at Lamas, Simon is used to helping out people with green ambitions, but no idea where to start. I'd love a workshop. You just need the tools, you need the stuff. It's knowing what wow. they are though. What they, like, they're broken and they that's not a, an apple decorer, is it? No. See, I'll put no, it in the that, apple and take out the centre of the like. apple. Do you think um, what we're getting into, Simon, is quite challenging? Do you think we're nuts? Do you think we're nuts? I think you're as sane as anybody. I've got massive respect for your readiness to dive into your dreams, you know, because yeah. what is life for? I feel like people are just slightly off course a little bit. What are they going to do when they ain't got no electric, you know what I mean, and you can't get FIFA to play and your kids are going crazy and they need food and, like, Tesco's is shut down and there's zombies all in the street? Uh, calm Simon's down. got a, a shed <laughs> full of, like, look at the size of that. You could decapitate three zombies with one of them. <laughs> then go and get an apple. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, everyone's happy, yeah, the coast is clear. Wicked. Yeah. <laughs> Tao Wimbush is one of the founding fathers of Lamas, where the needs of the community are largely met by their own efforts. However, just like the rest of us, they still need some money to get by on. So Tao and his wife, Hoppy, farm ducks, geese and cows. Hoppy also runs a skincare business, a cut flower trade, and operates the smallest registered dairy in the UK. If there is money to be made from a small holding, they're the people to talk to. I'm Vicky. Good to meet you. And? Abs, what was your name? Hoppy. Hoppy, Happy. pleasure, you darling. This place you is do magic. This? Yeah. It's magic, yeah. Permaculture. Have you heard of that? Permaculture. Yeah. Making... It's like a map of nature yeah. and it's about caring for yourselves, yeah. caring for the land and taking your fair share yeah. 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 in harmony with, yeah. with mm. the earth, mm. yeah? So mm. it's a really very well thought out, principled mm -hmm. way of looking at your water, looking at your energy, looking at your plants, everything. Yeah. What is it that you actually want from the land? Like, what is it, what's the relationship that you want to create? So I like to great. plant, like, fruit galore. Yeah. I don't know whether I need a polyton or what ones I can grow just naturally yeah. out. Yeah. and just 
I want to, like, butterflies, I want to aviary. I want to just go wild with it. You need to know what height your land is. And you need to, like, think about if you're going to have livestock, how you're going to fence it so that it doesn't eat your trees. Yeah. Whew, it's like a lot. It is a lot. Like, <laughs> like, the idea's there, and I can see myself, like, in my caravan, and I'm happy and stuff, but there's a lot of effort and oh, energy honey. and tears, blood, and sweat that have to go into this. <laughs> you know, it really is. I feel Listen. like it'll hit me when we when we get there. It's very much city boy, but I know I know what there is to um, I know what I've got to take on, and I'm prepared, yeah. and I can't wait. They've got a fabulous attitude to pulling it off. They've got a lot to learn. There's a lot of delicious dreaming and kind of oh yes, it's just going to be so lovely, and and the reality, well, we'll see. I'm going to check out the toilet at La Mas. Apparently it's something I need to see. Smell the mint as you walk on it. Oh my God! <laughs> I like it. So like when you're running low on mint, you can come to the toilet. It's ingenious. Lamas, that's probably as close to the good life in my eyes as you're gonna get. But even the good life costs money. Back in 2009, each family paid £40,000 to buy their plot of land at Lamas. Thanks so much, Hoppy. Much appreciated, so darling. Bye-bye, lovely. Abs Take and Vicky care. need to get their finances straight if they're going to make their move to the country. And money is a problem. Abs went bankrupt years ago, and we've spent the last six years gradually building ourselves up, but we're by no way millionaires. Back in 1997, Abs found fame with boy band Five. The band broke up four years later, but reformed in 2012. We're on our way to Butlins. Yes, we are. Bogner, uh, for a Five show. Make some noise for Five! These days, Abs is on the road with a Five reunion tour. Okay, I'm getting changed in my luxurious changing room. Uh, got a three seat to get ready on if I want to stretch out. And, and uh, I've got a pillow, as you can see, that gets cozy. Hey! Sorry. Change rooms can get like interrupted sometimes, and uh, I don't appreciate it, to be honest, because I'm just saying it's my quarters. Knock! Yo, you got a knock! I just find it really tedious now. I haven't got the buzz anymore. I step on stage and I, where's the buzz? Where did the buzz go? Come on, Bob Norwich! Mummy Bear! Buzz or no buzz, these shows have been a godsend. The money that came with success has long gone. Out. Goodbye. Their luxury house is just rented accommodation. But Ab's reunion tours have been paying the bills and they've managed to save a small deposit. We was looking for <laughs> any place. I was looking at pieces of plots of land for 20 grand and 5 grand and whatever I could get. Look, I found these two places for you. Vicky's roped in her sister, Gemma, to help them. Uh, no, Lamas was a bit of a reality check and they've realised that they've got to match their big ambition to their limited know-how and even smaller budget. Yeah, just, but that might, uh, the first one is completely That hasn't even different. got a door. No. How'd you get in? Despite Abs's rock and roll credit history, they're optimistic they can raise a mortgage of 150,000 yeah, pounds. Like, but it's not going to get them much. It's a Welsh, basically. Wait, but that's not, you can't move in and live in there, can you? No, you have to have a caravan. This what, is the what's it called? Land. Let's get the first four letters out of the way first. C N W C. Sknuk. Knuk. Sknuk. Sknuk. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. That is literally just bricks. Yeah. I'm, I'm spending 150 grand on bricks. So the next, yeah, the next option that we have here is this is more realistic, I believe. I like that one. This is a three bed. Oh, fucking name again. Look at the price of that. That's it's, the same price. It's, all structurally sound. It's got electricity, it's got its own water drainage supply, um, but inside it's fully modernising. And it's got these outbuildings which you can develop. I like that. Yeah. I could see myself just running butt naked on that land. <laughs> Happy. Where's this address? Uh, 
Um, this one is called. How do you say that? Pantinumene de Mid. Good. Good. It's not French. That's how you say Serra Dijon. Where do you live, Serra Dijon? <laughs> you can't just oh, the south of France? Uh, no, it's actually in Bantu Nuit. Phenomenon. You can't say it in a French. I like that one. Let's go and look at that weird. one. Across Wales, dozens of small holdings come on the market every month. But very few of them fall into Abs and Vicky's price range of under £150,000. Araf, honey, Araf. <laughs> what? Slow your ass down, that means, okay. in Welsh. So you don't realise how fast you're going with all these little motorways? Everyone else does. <laughs> Eyes open. Focus. I'm excited about this place, guys. Looks like a bum's here. Wow. Look at the house, man. That's falling to bits. <laughs> that is Holy hardcore. Moly. Are you sure we're at the right place? Yeah, that's it. Could do it with a bit of paint. <laughs> Finnonwen in County Ceredigion in Mid Wales is being sold by a farming family who've lived here for generations. Hey, woo! We're in. Yeah, that is cool. It's nicer on the inside than it is on the outside. There's no mood lighting in it. I like it. I like it more that I'm inside it, to be honest. It's proper rough. This is what it's gotten to with him considering a place like this. But that's where we're at. We're so desperate, we just want a home. Man, you need a lot of work. <sighs> like most Welsh farms, Fenonwen is surrounded by rough grazing land. Look, the sheep poo, man. It's not good. I like it. I like Listen, it. Listen, see all this space? I just... See this whole section here? You could get planning for that. No bother. Turn that into a, like a, more of a modern wing. And you could put... Um, glass roof. Glass roof on the south face. And what side. about the sheep? What do you mean? Who's are they? Well, the dogs. Huh? Well, the, yeah, dogs the dogs chase them. The dogs will be fenced in. You've got to be careful of sheep worrying. Sheep what? Worrying. Sheep worrying. Sheep worrying, isn't it? Something like that. Sheep worrying? Yeah. <laughs> what? It's like scaring sheep. Do you not know what sheep What, from is, the dogs, it? you mean? Yeah. What, the dogs will worry the sheep? Yeah. And it's called sheep worrying? Yeah. We just have to fence things in properly. It'll be fine. I like it because it's somewhere. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'll be happy on this land here. I'll be happy all day long. What's going on over here? On these hills, heavy rain and poor soil... What is that growing? What is that? ...create the perfect conditions for what bog. Is Why is it not grass? What is this? What is this round stuff? What is that? Whoa! Oh. Narrow area. Oh, 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 man, that's messy. I love how quiet this. Oh, no, that's beautiful. I like the land more than the house. I like it. It could work. It could work. It needs some TLC, doesn't it? TLC? Fuck you know. It needs some grand design shit. How'd you cut this grass? We called the solicitors, called the brokers and stuff, and put an offer in straight away. So it is all go on this house. It was somewhere. It was cheap. <laughs> Abs and Vicky's offer of the full asking price for the property and three acres was accepted. But this was their entire budget, so now there's nothing left to pay for essential building work 
to renovate the farm. We never worry about money, which is probably why we've been bankrupt. <laughs> easy go, easy come. We, we kind of just trust that everything will work out. And with no choice but to do the restoration work themselves, they need to find a way to live on site. So they're looking for a caravan. Definitely not that one. I think that one needs too much work. What is that? I don't know what that is. Wow. A bit like a spaceship. I quite like it. Welcome, welcome. Cassette deck. I don't even own a cassette anymore. Oh, dear God. What's this like? Shut no, up. Is that a minute. toilet? Yes, yeah, a toilet. Can you close the door? See what it's like? In <laughs> it's terrifying in here. What's in there? Kind of strong boat. Oh my god. <laughs> I like that. You can't go cruising down a motorway burning shit out of like a <laughs> a, a wood burner. No, it, no. What's this? A, is this the bed? Yeah, don't sit on it. Oh shit. shit. So can I pin notes to that? <laughs> Fabulous. I'm loving that. <laughs> that's that's the highlight. That's gonna be the highlight of my day. Um so he's, he's taken a pipe and he's, and he's threaded it through a bit of wood so that you've got that at-home feel, you know, like, that you can turn a stain, you know, that shape. Uh, getting water out of it might be a problem. Did, I'm guessing that, you probably, you have to, like, suck to get, like, some kind of flow going, like, you know, when you get petrol out of a car. What? I do like a project. So a caravan looks like an affordable option to live in whilst they renovate the farm. And Abs is inspired by other money-making possibilities. What about putting a swimming pool on the top of a bus, like a hot tub? We can drive around Wales and say, no, you haven't got access to a hot tub on your land. <laughs> Would you like to have spend half an hour in a therapeutic Himalayan salt bath? Sounds lovely, isn't it? Unworried by the mortgage company dragging its feet, and undaunted by the derelict state of the property, and not put off by knowing even less about building than they do about farming, Abs wants to acquire some livestock. Now, you know what I'd really like? i like some chickens. Yeah. Maybe a couple sheep. i like a little cow. I saw a little cow. You can get them. Yeah. And a, I'd like some pigs. OK. Little pigs. I don't want a big pig, just a little pig. What's that? It's a little pig. Hey! <laughs> you know well, what I'm saying? They're not canapes. <laughs> They want to get their dogs used to livestock, but they need something they can keep in a suburban home. Every week, farmers converge at auctions like this one in Fairfax, Carmarthenshire, to buy animals and farm machinery. I might buy some cable ties. Put some for his sample pounds, eight to ten, boys, eight pound ten, ten for mid, ten lamb, lamb pound twelve, twelve pound. Today's auction is rather special. Whilst most trade sheep and cattle, this one is a sale of rare breed poultry. Look at these ducks. Oh, he's gorgeous. I know. Oh, we've got to have him. No, but he'll get eaten. We've got to have these two. Let's, let's look. Love he, it. Don't worry quickly. about them. Let's, look let's quickly make side. some decisions. I... Whoa, look at him. <laughs> Chickens are a great way to start the process of becoming self-sufficient. In prime condition, a hen can produce over 300 eggs a year, but Abs and Vicky have other priorities. Here. I think to... we need to get big chickens that can defend themselves against dogs. I think it's him. I like to call him Elvis. That's typical. Elvis in his rhinestone cat suit. Look at him. Lionel Richie. All night long. <laughs> yeah, I think I want him. Let's get him. A pullet like is a young bird. Auctioneer John Davis is an expert on the poultry on sale today. Now you've got more ornamental birds here. You know, you're not going to have any sort of commercial venture. 
out of the eggs that you're going to get out of those birds. Right. I think you like one or two of them. Those will produce eggs, you'll get an egg a day. That's a lot of omelettes, man. <laughs> Imagine what we could do with an egg a day. We'll, we'll just can... be throwing them around. Well, you can sell them. No. Rockstar eggs. Absolutely. Nice. Paint them black, put a little gold star on them. That's it, five to go then. Five Despite the appeal of the revenue stream promised by Rockstar Eggs, Abs and Vicky are sticking with their plan to buy a cockerel, the non-egg laying male of the species. I can't understand him. One lovely cockerel, boys. He's lonely in the pen there, boys. He's pretty cockerel. Let's say a couple of over him. Come on, 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 He's probably thinking, who the hell are these people? Got my first chicken, met the locals. Hmm. A few disapproving looks, I felt. But that's to be expected. I'm on their territory. Let's get out of here. Let's do it. Let's go. We kept the chicken that we'd bought at auction inside because we were living in a built-up area and you don't need no cockadoodle-doo in, in six in the morning. 